Hi guys, this is Ra and welcome to the Bad Boy Bachelor episode 6. We're gonna be playing today. I will try to play without gems. But remember, when I play without gems, it's a trial and error thing. So don't run and, you know, choose the first option because you don't know if at the end I'm gonna be right. So wait for the full video and then you are good to go. So let's start. Check. Huh, what? I wasn't sleeping. I was just looking for my contact lens all afternoon. But my contact lens is not what you need to be worried about, right? Two new girls will be arriving in the house soon and Claire is all over your men. We're into round six already. So you'd better make some big moves soon or get lost in the game. But first, there's something else we'd like to know about you. You already said you're an animal trainer, which probably means that you love animals quite a bit. So what's your favorite animals? It's horse. Classic choice, Ra. Now back to the game. <coughs> and he fainted. <laughs> ah, because he's asleep. He has worked so hard and he doesn't even know how hard he's gonna have to work. Ah, uh, room sweet room. Well, it must be feeling pretty good. Are you kidding? Brits come, Peter and I are totally bonded. And our third roommate is off the island. I couldn't be happier. It really seems like you and Peter have a connection. It does, doesn't it? It's almost like you've known each other for years. What? Well, we haven't. Sorry, I mean that as a compliment. I'm sorry, Amber. With all this stuff going on with Brit, I guess I'm just a little paranoid. I totally understand. This is a competition after all. But just know that I would never try to ruin your game. Thanks, Amber. I think the only girl I really need to worry about now is Claire. You can say that again. Wait till you hear about my night la last night. That sounds like Claire now. I think she's right down the hall. Should we eavesdrop? Um, yes. Let's go. Of course we're gonna eavesdrop because that's the way the story is going to develop. There she is. Shh. So after the cook and tail party, I totally snuck up to Peter's room. <gasps> of course, it's against the rules. But this is a competition, mom. She's telling her mom about this? Shh. Just listen to me. So he answers the door. I woke up to him. He talked for a little and then... And then what? Mm, shh. I leaned in and... Hey, Claire Bear. I have to go. Who are you talking to? None of your business, Van Hoor. She's coming this way. Wrong, bitch. <laughs> what are those two losers doing? Lock the door. Lock the door. Hold the door. Oh no, hold the door. <laughs> Why? Right, right, focus. I can't believe that girl. Who does she think she is? This game has unspoken rules. And if she doesn't have to play by them, I don't either. Wait, what? What are you thinking? What do you mean? Watch Claire's footage. In the old version of the game, you obviously copied Claire and went to Peter's room. However, uh, in this version seems to be like you can see what Claire did in Peter's room. Which is a good idea, but this is not what I'm gonna do because I'm not gonna use gems, no. <laughs> Oh, I'm feeling bad now. 
Wait, but you're going to go to Peter with no preparation? All fair in love and war. And this is definitely war, so are you sure you wanna barge in? Ambrose right. I should get Intel first, that's 20 more. Or stick with your choice. I need to stick with my choice for you guys' sake. But I'm um, really, my heart is ache. <laughs> oh, ah, duele. No, I'm not sure this is the right thing to do. I'm just coming to go after myself. Are you serious? Why not? If God can play better than so can I. Okay, okay, if you're going to do this, you're going to do it right. What do you mean? First, you need to bring something with you as an excuse to come in, like a bottle of wine or to chair or something. Good idea. What would he like most? He like whiskey. As far as I know. Oh, Jack Daniels is so good. He's really good. I love Jack Daniels. But not the honey version. I don't like sweets in my liquor. Well, great idea. And you need an outfit that will knock his sock off. But we are not going to Armen. We are not going to Armen. <laughs> no, let's not disturb Armen at this hour. Well, I Whatever, he's a loser anyway Just go because I want my story to complete in the elevator. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Hi Peter, how are you this evening? No, 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 I have to make an amazing entrance. Hello, lover boy. Oh my god, that's so stupid. Hi Pete, wanna drink some whiskey and party with me? Who am I kidding? I suck at this. What am I gonna do? Wait a minute. Hello? Are you kidding me? I have no internet. I'm poor. And this thing is not working on Wi-Fi. I don't know why is that. Well, I need to give it some explanation because it seems, well, my data plan finished yesterday and I couldn't continue recording. And it's because my screen recorder only works without the Wi-Fi on and that's why I need to have that a plan for me to continue doing the video so I'm so sorry I've been late with this bad boy bachelor episode 6 but here we are again I'm gonna continue we're hopefully gonna pass this episode without James let's see so my character is thinking wait a minute this elevator doesn't seem to be moving hello did you even press the button, woman? Can anyone hear me? Maybe if I just press the button again, nothing. I'm stuck in the elevator. Come on, elevator, move. Somebody, anybody help? I'm claustrophobic. Who decided to make my character claustrophobic? Wah, Ra, calm down, Tommy. What are you doing in here with me? I'm always with you. Oh, right. Why do I keep forgetting that? Because reasons? Because I do my job well, I guess. He's trying to flirt with me. Don't flirt with me. Do you think you can get us out of here? I called production on the radio, but no one's answering. Oh, no. Just want to funneling monster. Is it monster? Well, whatever. Enough courage to take the ball by the horns. Well, maybe this is the universe trying to tell you something. Like that, I'm trying too hard. Trying too hard. I just so. Well, I think of this, think of it this way. Were you going up because of Peter or Claire? Because of Peter, of course. Oh, you sure about that? Not really, no.
Well, just make sure you go for the right reasons, whatever. And don't tell producers I told you that. This is going to sound strange, but I don't have very much experience with this whole dating thing. Why do I tell him that? Is he my best friend? No. How do you know if something is the right reason? Easy. It comes from the heart. Do you like Peter? Yeah, I really do, but I just don't know how to get him to notice me. Senpai, notice me, please, senpai. Over all these other girls. My character suddenly has so low self-esteem. I have an idea. You train animals for movies, right? Yeah, which means you probably have to get the animals to focus, right? To focus. My English is bad today, people. You're right. Okay, so let me think. What's your favorite animal? I love horses. Seriously? What? Is that weird? No, no, no. It's just that horses are my favorite animals too. Actually, my favorite animals are cats. I'm a cat lady. Jump back! <laughs> oh, wow. I love that expression. Thank you. So when you're working on set, how do you get the horses to pay attention to you? Put them in, the, in their place? I usually just tell them who's boss. Oh, that's... wow! You think that's a bad idea? No, actually, I think that's... Um, you know... <laughs> super Betsy move. What if he doesn't like that? Well, he's is a win. Any strong guy wants to be with a strong girl like you. Thanks, Tommy. What was that? Feels like the elevator is moving again. Conveniently. Oh, good. Guess I should get back behind the camera. But good luck with Peter. Thanks, Tommy. Um, Tommy, what's up? If you don't mind me asking, why are you looking out for me? I don't know, I guess I think you're a cool girl and I just want to see you get what you deserve. Thanks, Tommy. No problem. Alright, I've got my game plan and I'm ready to go. I don't know when she did a plan. I didn't, I didn't see any plan. Where's Penthouse 5? There it is. Knock, knock. Knock. Hello? <gasps> it's Peter! Tan tan tan. What am I gonna do now? I brought some nice whiskey. How about I come in and we can have some and chat? I like a woman who knows how to ask for what she wants. Come on in. Oh, he let me in. What a beautiful room. This one is beautiful, not like the other one. Thanks. Paul Pro solves me. Cheers, baby. Cheers. And we're drinking whiskey in a champagne glass. Clever. I thought you stayed in the bad boy bachelor pad. No, that place is just for show. The producers are trying to build up this bad boy image thing. I see. Plus, it smells like horses in there, and I hate horses. Tan tan tan. So now it's your turn to say if you love or hate horses. I think. Well, if you agree with him, he will tell you he already knows you love horses. And he'll send you home, as far as I know, because this game has changed so much. But I'm gonna be honest with him, I'm gonna tell him I love horses. Smart, kind and powerful creatures. Of course you did, they are awesome, they were the, the, the automobile of the past. What did you want to chat about? Mm. How he feels about you. Mm. 
idea how he feels about you. And time we spent together. Wow, you really got right to the chase, don't you? So forward? No, but... Oh no. I feel really good about how things are going with you. I feel really glad it's, it's not up to see me tonight. Let's fill up our glasses and get to know each other better. Wow. Wow. Wow, I survived. We survived without using any gems. I'm so glad I made it on the first try. <laughs> So this has been all for the Bad Boy Bachelor episode 6 and I'll see you in the next Bad Boy Bachelor episode. Adios.